In December 1966, Martin and the Beatles met at Abbey Road to begin working on Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, a record which would become celebrated as the first concept album. George Martin was the Beatles' creative partner in crime, and he introduced them to this idea that he called the wind-up piano. That's nothing to do with this instrument, and everything to do with magnetic tape, and the speed it records, and the speed it plays back. Take, for instance, George Martin's solo on Lovely Rita, on the Sgt Pepper album. What he did was actually set the tape slower, record it slower, and then played it back at a slightly higher speed that he knew would make the piano fit with the track. So here's roughly what he originally recorded. And while I was reproducing this solo, originally played by George Martin himself, engineer John Barrett was recording me. And now, if we play it back at the normal speed for this tape machine... Right. ..but then that's faster than we recorded it. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. I'm good. <laughs> uh, why do that? I mean, it's a great sound and all the rest of it. Why did Martin do that? It's far easier to play stuff slower, yeah. more accurately. Yeah. And so the sort of ornamentation and the articulation of the notes, you can be more precise. Mm -hmm. But it, it's more that the tonal quality becomes mm. brighter and edgier. There's something almost music boxy about it, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Across it, that track. Can we hear that laid across what they did? This was just one example of how the Beatles played with tape speeds, slowing instruments down, speeding them up, and even recording guitar solos backwards. Sergeant Pepper wouldn't have been possible without this manipulation of magnetic tape, and the overall sound was a wonderful, unpredictable collage of voices and instruments, lyrics and music.